What's up, you guys? This is Garrett and Megan from JustAdayInParadise.com. <laughs> Wait, yeah, I told you to let me say it, and then he <laughs> says it. Ready? Yep. What's up, you guys? This is Garrett. And Megan. From JustAdayInParadise.com. And have you ever driven by like a restaurant or a small little place multiple, multiple times, and you just never seem to go in? Well, we're going in today. We're going to the real macaw. It's like a Key West vibe kind of bar and restaurant type deal. Our vacation just got canceled a few days ago uh, to Key West, so we decided to go in and check it out. What do you think? I'm excited. We're out. We're about this Key West lifestyle. I'm ready. The social distance in there. <laughs> the Real Macaw has been family owned and operated for over 28 years. Upon entering this lush, tropical oasis, you quickly feel transported to a faraway land. There's no shortage of humor and charm as you find yourself a seat at the outdoor bar. What do you think so far? I think it's super cute. I love all the, the pastel colors. Purple's my favorite and it's everywhere. But I'm very excited to see what's on the menu and the drinks. They recently revamped their cocktail menu and we can't wait to give them a try. All the cocktails are nine dollars, which I appreciate. With the macaw juice has six rums and it's nine dollars. So I think that's probably pretty clear. It's also got three different juices. So get some vitamin C and six different rums. Six rums, six rums, three juices. Six rums. <laughs> I got a mojito because I saw it on their Instagram and it looked very refreshing. They are currently restricting occupancy due to the coronavirus regulations, but they usually offer live music on the patio and it's supposed to be a great time. I'm better now. I, I feel like I've seen, I've seen we're at like an island resort and this is like a hole in the wall kind yeah. of place, you know? And um, we probably, I feel like we could have just gotten back from the beach and we showered, we found this place, we just walked by and we found it. What I love is that there's not a lot of places that are even open in Naples right now. There's definitely no places that are open in South Florida right now that you can actually sit at a bar and get some cocktails and some cool, chill food. So the, all the staff is wearing masks and gloves and they've been really um, respectful of everybody's space, but it doesn't, it's not so weird that it feels awkward. Like I still totally feel kind of normal. Like I'm just on the island and we're not even on an island. Don't those cocktails look mouth-watering? We tried to find a few different ones to really wet our whistles. The macaw juice and the mojitos were the standout in this round. Their painkillers made with real pusser's rum and sprinkled with fresh nutmeg for all you purists out there. I got the painkiller with the one and only pusser's rum. Painkiller is not a drink I get a lot because you get a tummy ache with a lot of sweetness. <laughs> you get a tummy ache every day. But this actually isn't that sweet. It's a little creamy. It's really, really nice. It kind of feels like a dessert without making me ill. And it's making me tipsy. So I like it. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta get that nutmeg on top. I got a mojito, the Brandy's Mojito with Don Q Limon Rum uh, with some lime, mint, and club soda, just like any mojito normally. Um, this one's really pretty. Uh, I've had a few sips already, but I'll take one for you as well. Very good mojito. A lot of mint, which I like. I don't like when they skimpy on mint, so I'm happy. These Johnny Cakes were a surprise. Garrett, what did you think of the Johnny Cakes? I love Seabed. There's more? Remember when I had it? Brandino Seabed. I thought it was gonna be like super like 
sweet and desserty, but it wasn't. It was like really good for like pre-meal bread. So. It's almost like, like a fried cornbread, but it's not very sweet on its own. Strawberry butter is like a <laughs> macadamia goat cheese salad with a truffle okay. vinaigrette and balsamic reduction, which actually sounds delightful. And beets. I love beets. Garrett hates them. Calamari was absolutely incredible. Mm. It's uh, calamari. Um, it's tossed in this signature like sauce with some scallions on top. I've never had like calamari like tossed in anything. I've always dipped in like marinara or something. So super excited. So good. How about this juicy crab cake? Now I now now I'm now I'm all I'm all messed up. I'm ready. Oh, that sauce. Oh, yeah. There's something crazy. Watch this. Watch this. Oh, yes. Brilliant. Dip and you dip. I knew I no. double dip. It's really not. Really good. It's really good. Put it on my calamari again. It's got a nice crunchy outside and super soft inside. It's like well seasoned. For entrees, we went with the Caribbean duck, filet, sea bass, and Kobe cheeseburger. What do you think? Delicious, like butter. Don't forget to bring friends here. There's a lot to share. Let me see you can see the inside, see it's cooked, it looks beautiful, it's Kobe beef, I'm very excited. Okay. It's a killer. Um, do you want some frost No. Because if you wake up early, you still feel over. That's a burger. This is the duck, which is one of the most popular dishes. I have a burger in my hand. Yeah, and I gave her another piece too. She ate that thing and Bob just looking like nothing, right? She had that. It's kind of like oh, 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 oh. an elegant barbecue. Oh, oh, oh. Who saved room for dessert? Guava bread pudding with vanilla ice cream. I love bread pudding. I wasn't sure about the guava. I do love guava. And it's just the right amount, it doesn't overpower it at all. Are you here? No. I've got the key lime pie here. I've had a lot of bites of it, but I'm gonna have another one. <laughs> oh, it's so perfect amount of tartness, perfect amount of lime. So good. So good. We have officially put this hidden gem on our must-do for Naples visitors and locals alike. While the ambiance alone would be worth giving it a try, the food and service are a reason to become a regular. We'd passed by this unassuming spot quite literally hundreds of times, so don't make the same mistake and make your reservation today. <laughs>